Hello and welcome back to another video. So it's almost Christmas time and uh, it's time for some uh, romance in the air and with latest update 2018.48.12 we now have romance mode but the first question I was asking myself is well actually how much does it consume and how hot will it get the car so let's find out So the first thing I want to show you guys is that I plugged in the car and now the car is actually consuming 0 amps at 0 volts. And as soon as I turn the heating on, so let me just do that here by just turning on the heating. When your car is plugged in into the wall then uh, it will actually use that uh, to uh, draw the power that it needs to consume to uh, enable the heating so you don't draw power from the battery at that point um, so now we're at 240 volts and the amps are going up and we should be around um, 4 to 5 amps uh, at this point because the heater is uh, going really strong uh, right now the question that I have now is what if we turn on romance mode uh, what does it mean for the consumption so turning off the heater again so everything should go back to zero right now um, and then we turn on romance mode so we start with zero amps zero volts and to turn on romance mode you just have to tap here then that will enable your basket here you go to the little fire icon and I can already hear the heating uh, starting up. You get this nice knispering log fire here. And let's see how many amps that will start to draw. One thing I noticed as a difference when we start uh, straight away is that you really feel the heater. Uh, going on directly it's not so much the blowing of the air it's just direct heating uh, that you're getting and when I look at the dash I see that we're currently consuming 4 amps at 241 242 volts and uh, remember this is three phase power right so this is basically if you do the full 24 amps then we get 20 uh, sorry we get 16.5 uh, kilowatts of power. Uh, the windows are starting to fog up uh, because it's only heating. Um, the air conditioning does not seem to be on at this point. The seat heater is turned on so I can really feel that already as well and I can feel it getting warmer and warmer so let me just have a look at the app what the inside temperature currently says and as you can see right, the climate is set on high and the seat heaters are both on in the front. I don't have the uh, winter package option with the steering wheel and the back seats, so I don't know if the back seats are on as well. Uh, but currently we're looking at an interior temperature of 30 degrees and let's see how quickly that will go up. So let's enjoy a little bit of that uh, fire and then uh, I'll come back to you in a few minutes once we heat it up a little bit. So we are now 15 minutes in and I noticed that the amperage has dropped to 2 amps. Now this is 3 phase so you have to multiply the amps with the voltage and then you have to multiply that result with 1.7172 which is the square root of 3 and then we end up with about 800 watts. A little bit more than that but not much. So this is what it uses and it will definitely not drain your battery. Now, in the meantime, uh, the seat heater has gone to uh, one, setting one, and we have a nice and cozy 37 degrees inside the car. And we're still going strong, we're still on high, 
so it will continue to rise. Let's wait for a little while and then we measure again whether that will drop, yes or no. We are now about half an hour into the test and we are still using 2 amps at 240 volts more or less which is around 800 watts because it's three phase as I explained earlier. The car is at a 40 degree Celsius according to the app. Um, it feels a little bit more than that but uh, that's probably because I'm higher and the uh, temperature uh, controller is actually down here in uh, in the center console so that uh, yeah that changes a little bit oh we just bumped up to 41 degrees um, it was quite stable at 40 but now it jumped up a little bit and it's going between 41 40 so I'm going to wait for another 15 minutes and then we'll see whether it will actually exceed the 40 degrees Celsius So here we are now at the end of the test and we are now at a 38 degrees um, that we are getting. Uh, so it has dropped a little bit but it seems that the car wants to keep the temperature, temperature around 40 degrees Celsius. It is getting colder outside so probably that will compensate for the few degrees that I've lost here. So yeah, uh, still using two amps. Uh, it is indeed not using that much energy, so uh, by all means, go ahead, use romance mode and get nice and cozy in the back seat if you want, or just relax and enjoy the fire on your uh, center screen. So yep, here we are, hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel using this button right here and don't forget to click on the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching, see you guys next time, bye bye!